It's my first day at big school in the city. It was big school because in the country town you'd have probably about 100, 200 people maximum. In the city it's about 10 times that amount. And I was this skinny little guy from a country town in a big city where obviously most people that were there actually grew up in the city. So it was a bit daunting for me. It was sort of like walking into a dark room and it was just noisy. And it, was, and it, it took a bit of time to adjust. And that's fine because that's what we do. We adjust in life. We make things work for us and that's eventually what happened. But some moments were very scary and some moments were absolutely amazing. There was so much fun that at the time you just think you're having fun and it's just a part of life. But it actually follows you through life. It gives you that foundation at that age and all those wonderful things. And the example I'll give you is that I spoke about it before, quite simply, is that we used to sing songs every morning, had the coolest teacher ever that gave us that ability to sing songs. Now, admittedly, it was the same song, Cat Stevens, Morning Has Broken, which some mornings it was really good and some mornings in the middle of winter, I wouldn't be singing that song too loud, let me tell you. But as a kid, it was just enlightening. In fact, it, light, it lit a little bit of a candle inside of me, that little bit of explosion that you get when something really attracts you to a purpose or you're just going, I don't know what's going on here, but it feels really good. And that's what happened. That's what happened to me when I was singing out loud, singing with the class and enjoying every moment. In fact, it helped me integrate really, really well. So what had happened from there is that as, a school, as I went through other schools, in high school, etc., I kept on getting more and more entrenched in music. I wanted to know more about it. I was listening to everything. I was listening to Casey Kasem Top 40 because it was so good. It was all the new music that we didn't have in Australia. And Casey Kasem wasn't really known to us, but it was exciting to me because I could hear all the new, shall we say, wonderful turning music. And it was, it just kept on lighting me up to the point that I was questioning why I'm at school. I get school, I understand the foundations, the reading, the writing, the maths, and the English and everything else that goes through it. I really do understanding history, understanding woodwork, metalwork, all those things, I really do. But at the time I was just questioning, why can't I just, why can't we just have a break from school for a few months so we get all that, shall we say, all the practical, and oh, sorry, all the, all the bits and pieces that we've actually gathered from a theory of school so we can practically use it in our lives. So we can actually jump to another level when we go back to school to say, hey, I appreciate what I've learned here because it's not all theory. I've actually done some of this and it works practically in life and it gives us that foundation, another level to step up to. So um, that was getting stronger and stronger. The music thought, the excitement I got from music, trying to question what I was doing at school. And eventually it got to the point that I turned around and I just gave school away. And I started thinking, well, I've got to do some music and everything else. And my parents, being parents, they go, well, since you're giving school away, you've got to start work. Of course, that's what you do. That's tradition. And I understood that. And I found a job doing during the daytime and I did some woodwork and it was a really good job, really good people. It was a bit daunting from all of a sudden going from school and sort of coming along, all of a sudden you got a job and you've got to do all the tasks and you've got to do things that are expected from you. And that was a transition that I wasn't quite expecting. But I still had music of an evening. I still had music on the weekends. I also did a bit of surfing as well, which was a lot of fun because uh, in Australia, you follow the sun. That's what we do. And quite simply, those foundations, questioning everything that we're doing, and more importantly, getting understanding of yourself was foundations that I didn't realize at the time were the ones that were going to take me through the building blocks of life. And I'm, again, very proud of my parents and the fact that they allowed me to do that and the fact that they supported me. And I'm sure it would have been very difficult for my father and more for my mother as well. But at the same time, they loved me and they, got, they let me do it. And it was exciting and I enjoyed it very much.